Okay. How's it going? Mm. Oh, yeah. Hey, Weeping Jay. What's up? A voodoo breakfast. How's it going? So. It's 10. I forgot to fix. Huh? Is it 10? It is 10. Because I didn't stream number nine, but I painted number nine. There we go. Yeah, so this morning or this day, we're going to do study. It's going to be study time. But it's not going to be any. Hey, Sir Lauden, what's up? It's not going to be just any warm up. Is gonna be the the bane of every artist's challenge is hands. <laughs> we will be looking and we will be studying hands. Oh yeah. <laughs> How's it going? So let's um do that. So these hands and we're also going to have a squishy ball there we can um, try our hands on <laughs> uh, but yeah hands today hands volume placement and the reference is from noah bradley's hand hand reference pack um, you can find and buy but yeah we're going to be Study Monday today is hands. Oh no. So that's how it is. Hello Rib, how's it going? Sir Loudon, yeah, I mean Noah Bradley is an artist, so he he has an eye for it, you know. So I'm not surprised. But yeah, I didn't end up streaming over the weekend, unfortunately. I was very busy. Um, uh, something came up um, freelance-wise I had to deal with. And I couldn't deal with it. But uh, nevertheless, let's go. Oh, you can see this eye a bit angry. I always get a bit angry eyes after a shower. I don't know why. But anyways, let's do it. So I want to source um, your thoughts. I'm going to be talking at TAD in Berlin. And um, that is way too large. Straight off the bat, wrong. Okay, let's let's do be a little bit tech. Try to be a little bit tactical. So th there is approximately the middle. There's approximately. Something like that. All right. All right. All right. All right. Okay. Um, yeah, so I'm going to have yet again another talk um, and um, I'm contemplating on um, what to talk about. There's many different things. I think I had a talk planned for um, IFCC that I never really did. Um, 
because the talk I had planned ended up, I, I didn't even really touch the slides. Um, but uh, I ended up uh, talking about my life uh, or rather like journey as an artist, right? Instead of doing the slides and all these things. And the talk that I was planning to do was more or less art direction and uh, like how to art direct yourself to some degree. So what I want to ask, um, that what I want to ask you guys about is if you think about, this is a bit weird, it's not, it's a little bit out of my character to, to, to phrase it like this, but I have to, right? So if you think about me as an artist, um, how, what, what would you like to uh, know in terms of a talk, right? If I, if, 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 if you could choose, what would you like me to talk about in a kind of uh, presentation type lecture? Might be a bit hard to answer as well, you know. Really, it's like, oh yeah, that one. <laughs> but I mean, you 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 do come every day, and I do understand what it do. Thunder flames. What up? Th the creator of thunder flame has arrived. No, but I mean, obviously, you as an everyday viewer. Uh, you are a little bit, how to say it, not jaded, but I mean, I've talked about so many things. It's a should be a bit harder for you to kind of quantify what you like to hear. And maybe you're just bored of me talking <laughs> as well. Who knows, right? But um, the overall idea, um, I mean, I could go back to the original idea about the lecture of art directing yourself. The Zealin with Dharmar. That's interesting. Um. Life and work balance, how to present, how to be present in life. Is that really um, like an hour lecture though? I mean, I could probably, I mean, come up with a story that would, that would, you know, be an interesting thing to listen to, but thank you. I will, I will note that down as a suggestion. Zialin, um, in terms of the, the Dharma one, do you mean in terms of like the whole uh, the whole design aspect of the talk? So how to art direct yourself, or how to how to design, or something like that. I think I think I'm I'm um, in the same boat in terms of kind of what I would like to talk about in terms of like what I could contribute but one of my concerns is is uh, that you know I, I like to teach right i have a lot of theory and maybe that's not what people want to hear 
when they go to a lecture? Because for me, what it seems like what everyone is doing in, in, in terms of lecture is that they're just kind of like having a cool story rather than going into details, you know. Um, I'll note it down. Life, work, uh, present in life. Uh, present in life. Art. Um, make goals. Okay, interesting. Thanks for the suggestions. Oh yeah, so it's more about designing, uh, art directing yourself and so on. Okay, 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 I get it. Yeah, I think, I think, I think what I gotta do is I gotta have some images, right? But <laughs> my concern is always like my work is always buried for years, right? I, whenever I have something to show, it's really, really old, right? It's never anything new. Hey, one Amir, how's, how's it going? This needs to be moved a little bit more like that. Amir, I am good, thanks. How are you? What's up with the Amir? How's it going? We are doing hands. Oh, yeah. Squishy, squishy hands on today's study Monday. And I'm asking you guys about if you would, if you could pick and choose a topic of lecture from me, because uh, I'm gonna be lecturing or present, presenting at TAD uh, in Germany in October. And I'm wondering um, what I should, what the, the topic of the talk should be, if you have any, if you have any suggestions. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Who is oh, yeah? -ing? How dare you? Hey, Dame Deviant. Thank you very much. The thumb number 10. Hey, Fight Milk, how's it going? The Amir. <laughs> hey, Gria, how's it going? Vitamin calcium. It's a boob study? Yeah, if boobs are yellow plastic balls. Then, obviously, I'm doing a boob study. Oh, don't you understand? <laughs> All boobs look like this. With inverted nipples and nice yellow plastic shine. At least all the ones I've been around. <laughs> Food or breakfast. <laughs> yeah. Light is going crazy on this ball. Yeah, it's lots of subtleties there. Um, that, by the way, reminded me of um, the movie The 40-Year-Old Virgin, when he says, he says the boobs feels like a bag of sand. <laughs> and everyone's like, what? One meter, yeah, absolutely. And it's an uh, air, air duct. You can... Uh, you can pump it if it deflates. <laughs> uh, 
you know, if you're gonna wanna go up a, a bra size, you just pump, pump a bit. Bicycle pump and you're, you're golden. That's what I do with my biceps at least. It's like going to the beach. Oh shit. Lurib, a lecture of good and bad design. Yeah. One Amir Levy, I'm um, I am lecturing at uh, TAD. I got invited this year, so I'll I happily accepted, and I will be holding a lecture at TAD in October. Now the question just is, what should I talk about? The art department, TAD by the way. So it's going to be fun. Looking forward to it. It's going to be my first time at TAD. Um, yeah, TAD, the art department. Not TED. I'm not going to do a TED talk. I'm going to do a TAD talk. <laughs> the art department is, um, I think it's originally a school. But they do these kind of cool big shows. So it's going to be fun. Again, I'm not going to do a TED talk. I'm going to do a <laughs> the art department workshop. I guess they have that issue naming their workshop TAD instead of TED. I don't know. But nevertheless, it's a uh, it's the the art department workshop. Yeah, it's going to be good fun. Um, <clears throat> I just need to uh, come up with a good uh, talk. And uh, I, was, I, was, I was thinking I, I'll ask you guys of what you think would be an interesting talk. As you, you hang out here every day. And uh, I'd be fascinated in, in knowing your point of view on, on what would be cool to hear. I mean, I have my own ideas of what I want to talk about, but that's, you know, that's not, that's not tricky to figure out. <laughs> Question is what, what the, the, the problem with like, with, as with all people is, is really hard to, to, to see yourself um, from outside, you know, objectively, right? What would be a cool talk from me, seen from third person point of view? And maybe my, my, what, what I find interesting, everyone might just go like, ah. Oh, you again with these crazy theories. Say it, how to draw the perfect circle. <laughs> um, yeah. Gria, what I am doing 
Yeah, it's a good question. I'm thinking that as well. <laughs> no, but seriously, um, on a, on a, if I'll try to explain, what I f did first was uh, I kind of mapped it out, right? I placed the major shapes down, the major volumes, um, trying to analyze the, the hands in 3D volumes. Like you can see these by these kind of cut, up, cut lines or um, whatever you call them, intersectional loops. Um, don't know the technical term for it. Uh, but it was, it's all, the drawing was all trying to figure out, you know, the volume. Because I knew I would want to paint it on top, but I didn't want to start painting and figure out the volumes at the same time. So what I'm doing now is I'm blocking in the basic shapes and the, and the general volumes. It's a little bit harder because I'm using overlay. So it kind of maintains the underlying structure a bit too much. So at some point soon, um, I'm, I want to I wanna skip the overlay layers and remove some information. But I, I felt like trying to um, maintain as much brush information as possible, uh, as long as possible, before um, moving forward. And, uh, and I'm tr just trying to nail the, the volumes, really. And uh, the approach was uh, main sh uh, flat colors, and then um, variation, and then like l variation of of the light, and then starting blocking in the planes of volume. So I didn't block the pl planes before the hue differences. So hue differences first. I don't know why I did that. Um, I guess because in my way of painting, I tend to um, rush, I guess. So I just wanted to, to practice going at a, at a different pace or a different approach just to see what happened with my brain you know slightly change it up so so I'm 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 not going into um, autopilot Hey, Ice Dai, how's it going? Um, fight me out. Joke aside, what would you actually like to give talks about? Well, like I, I've talked, I've mentioned this on the stream already, but like I'm a sucker for information. I like to discuss design theory, right? But I don't know if that's what people want to hear. You know, because one of the problems I'm facing with my lectures is that there is no feedback from them. You know, the, no one is saying, I mean, there's some, some people saying, oh, great talk, but I don't know if it's just, you know, like friendly uh, tap on the shoulder, you know, like, oh, good job. Um, I don't, haven't heard anyone talk up I haven't seen anyone talk about my lectures I don't know what people think of them so that's a that's a little bit tricky for me to understand if I'm on the you know like the right path or not if people like it or if people wish that I would do something differently It's a bit, I don't know, I don't know. 
so you know in one way it's like yeah I, I'll, I'll i can easily do another lecture of whatever i want to talk about but i don't know if that's what people want to hear <laughs> you know that's the current problem uh, or that's the problem I always face when I'm uh, planning a new talk it's like is this what people want to hear <laughs> what what the what's like what's the objective outside of you know f not from my point of view but from the people attending the my lectures over the years I mean, obviously, I must be doing something good because I'm, I get, I keep getting invited back. But it's just hard to know if it's, it, you know, what is good about them if they are good, <laughs> because, like I said, there's no feedback at all. And same actually. Um, for this stream there is some information from you guys about you know like what you like and so on but if I like if I would think about why you come here I would I would uh, I would only guess you know what the reasoning behind that would be Yeah, well, it's interesting. Maybe. Fight milk. Design theory is always a win. Hmm. That that's what I would what I would think as well, and that's what what one of the things I do love about um, my my line of work is the fact that I I have a lot of theories, <laughs> but but then would that be what people want to hear? That's a completely different story. Uh, we're over time. Five minutes. Oh, shit. But yeah, so if I would if I would answer your question a little bit more concrete, fight milk, it would be uh, design theory, art direction. Um, A little bit more fact-based or tangible theory-based, rather than a little. I mean, a lot of work, a lot of uh, lectures I've seen is is they don't really go into details. They just kind of go, "Here's a painting I did for this project. Uh, here's why I chose a uh, red cable um, for like a running theme in the concepts. Insert funny story and cool images." Um, but then on the other hand, you have amazing thinkers like Mike Hill, who, who will also talk at TAD, which is, <laughs> you know, I've, I'm friends with him, but it's so daunting to know that he's also doing a talk at the same, because his, his quality of talks are like through the roof. And he is very theory heavy, and but he's really good at talking. So it's, like the perfect storm, right? But um, I have, I mean, if I would do a lecture, if I would have to do a lecture like next week, I would kind of know, I could throw something together using old workshops 
uh, old workshop lectures, which I think I will actually do if I, if, if I don't come up with a great new idea. So how, what I would do would be probably like how to art direct yourself mixed uh, how to art direct yourself is a lecture I've actually never really did done at the, it was planned to do at uh, IFCC this year but I ended up not talking about it um, but that one plus mixed with my creativity talk and probably mix it with character design theory class that, that, that one of the, my oldest lectures about design theory. So it would be like a... But I don't know, that, that sounds like a little bit too much. Maybe I need to simplify. I don't know. Korea. Hmm. Interesting. Dame Deviant, oh, that's interesting. That's, that's, that's very nice to hear. Great, thank you. Good that you can pick something up from it. Onwards and upwards. And I must say, Dame Deviant, you, you're getting a lot a lot better. Your traditional stuff is getting quite accurate now. It's great to see. Here the colors are way off. Not even close. Very, very muddy here. Shame. I'm not going to have time. But nevertheless, a great study. As in, not my result, but uh, the fact of doing it is good, great. I really enjoyed it. And I recommend you also do, do, to do this study where the goal is uh, to think about structure and then um, volume or um, after structure you paint this, the structure you've drawn uh, with whatever approach you'd like but how I did it was I, I, I categorized it in, in steps so I just didn't uh, rush in so I put base color down, uh, color variation, then value uh, planes, which I totally messed up because I used overlay uh, for too long and it maintained the, the sketch lines underneath, which made the values really muddy, which is, you know, not ideal. But uh, nevertheless, that's how it is. Let's see if I can't. That's way too green, by the way. More like that, kind of.
um, I think you and I agree. One, one argument to be made for it is the fact that you bring your perspective into it. So there's unique value in so that Bjorn is giving a lecture on the subject rather than a lecture given being given by... Oh, yeah. So it's not like I'm relaying dry facts, but I am relaying my version of it, my theory of it, my take on it. Yeah. <clears throat> I agree. And that's kind of like what I love about um, at least how the workshops used to be. Like this very like my take on, on, on things approach rather than here's some cool shit. Um, which in itself is, is, is a nice thing to go be impressed by um, but for me it, it's never um takeaway you know you go ooh, and then one second later is like and 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 uh, you get inspired for sure but you don't gain any knowledge from it right that's my issue with with these kind of show and tell type um, lectures is that there is no no takeaway and that's why I, I always opt for um, more theory driven lectures because I, I, I that's what I like right so maybe I should just go with what I like okay that's it <clears throat> time is up But if you have any, if a, a, an idea comes to mind uh, of uh, what you would like me to lecture, feel free to let me know on Discord or um, tomorrow on the stream. You know, make a note of it or if you have any ideas. But as it is, it most likely I will be lecturing about art directing yourself slash creativity design theory. I just need to quant like boil it down a bit so it's not such a wide topic, but Yeah, I mean, I mean, you gotta also have showmanship. You also gotta have flair, and people go ooh and ah, right? Because you can't just go text. <laughs> you know, you gotta make people. It has to be a cool show and tell. You know, so yeah, yeah, it is a tricky one. And one last. Liquify because I completely messed up the the mushingness and proportions are off, but it is what it is. That's better. All right, fun study. Fun study. All right, let's find a good subject to raid. And last raid was it Thursday? Oh, what a what a fail in raiding! We raided this pencil artist, and I was like, "Oh yeah, that's cool." And then in the end, nothing. Like it was um, like follower only, and there was no interaction with the chat. <laughs> and I was like, "Oh come on." Or is this, the, the, she's on again. I'm not going to raid you again. Okay, let's, let's see here. Hey, look at that, that's me. Some Russian, too bad it's in Russian, I don't speak, speak it. Nimlot, he's doing 3D. 
he's a pretty good 3D artist, but he tends to kind of not interact that much, which is a shame. French, I don't speak French, unfortunately. Mm. Oh. Lots of Russians. Interesting. Should we? Oh, what's this? Oh, that looks pretty cool. Let's um, let's see. <laughs> Fight me up, yeah. Furs and boobs and tits and ass. So we're going to raid this guy. No idea. Never raided him before. But um, let's go and see his painting traditional, which is pretty cool. It's a pretty big sized canvas as well. Looking forward to maybe interact with him. Either way, we'll see you tomorrow morning. At the same time, have a good, uh, good night. Uh, have a great day. And see you outro time and then raid. Toodles.